sepsis is the response of one's body to a systemic infection, mostly caused by bacteria that at some point of the infection process enter the bloodstream. Sepsis affects approximately one million patients per year in the United States with an estimated cost of $20 billion. In contrast to um, stroke or heart attack, where the intervention to treat the patient is very complex and requires really specialized care, the intervention for sepsis is pretty simple. It's called the three-hour bundle. And it's called the three-hour bundle because it's supposed to be delivered in three hours from the time um, after diagnosis of sepsis. And it has four elements. Two elements consist of blood work, that's drawing a lactate and a blood culture. And the therapeutic interventions are giving fluids, intravenous fluids to the patient, as well as giving a broad spectrum antibiotics. While we try to deliver these elements in three hours, we always really want to get them in faster than that. The reason for that is that just delaying the broad spectrum antibiotic at the onset of sepsis by one hour increases mortality by 8%. So time is really of essence here. So really anybody could do it, not just a tertiary care center like Dartmouth-Hitchcock, but community hospitals actually can start this process uh, at their sites, which is very important. If you look at sepsis, it is really a disease that not only can affect any patient, but can affect any healthcare provider in the hospital. So it's really an institution-wide effort to improve care. Being a member of the High Value Healthcare Collaborative was a key piece in making this all work for us because we were able to adopt best practices. While Dartmouth-Hitchcock has seen tremendous improvement in the delivery of the intervention for patients who come through our emergency department that we have control over, we need to get them earlier when they present at other sites primarily. We are making available to them the super serious criteria that help to identify patients. We have developed um, electronic order sets um, for our hospital that we are making available for all other hospitals as well. These can be adopted as well as in paper forms for those who are not electronic healthcare records. Um, we are, have held symposiums to teach and learn about sepsis. And for our, our staff, we are developing a sepsis education module that is CME accredited that we are also make available for anybody in northern New England who would like to use it.